Morning, folks. So since my audio compression video, there's been some questions on uh, in the comments. How can I make sure that it's working? How can I start it up when Windows starts up, etc.? And, you know, some troubleshooting things. So I'm going to click on to take you through in five minutes. And uh, hopefully this helps one or two you sort your problems out. So the first thing I do is I can just close the Rough Rider interface. The VST plugin is automatically loaded. At the moment, my Equalizer API, sorry, Equalizer APO configuration editor loads. Being in IT APIs, <laughs> I'd, I'd say API instead of APO. All right. So what you want to do, and I'm going to actually have to disable my camera so that you can see it. So give me two seconds. There we go. What you want to do is you want to Windows R, and you want to type shell colon startup. That opens your startup um, menu. And these are all the applications that you want manually starting up when your Windows machine boots. And you put your configuration editor shortcut in it. I have one on my desktop um, right over here on the right side. And I just drag it over into the configuration editor. And that means that the configuration editor will start up the moment that my machine starts up. Super easy. Now, again, troubleshooting. How do you want to make sure that this is actually working? Because some people are, are struggling with it. And unfortunately, my camera interface is right in my start menu. So I have to disable it again and take you through this quickly. So what you want to go start and you want to scroll down to AP, uh, Equalizer API configurator. You obviously it runs as administrator because you need to t um, you need to adjust things as an administrator on the machine and then this brings up this sort of menu for you i'm going to minimize that so this is uh, reflects better and you want to make sure that apo can be installed for everything my realtek audio is my default device use troubleshooting options at the bottom you click on the actual speakers and you make sure that it's pre-mix install apo and post mix install apo and then on the right side, install as SFX slash EFX, which is experimental. If the recommended one doesn't work, SFX slash EFX. And simple, simple as that, close it. That should then actually work. Um, the next thing that I uh, have found can be a problem is making sure that you have allowed for um, additional processing etc on your playback devices for like a better term so what you want to do quickest way for me to get to it is you click on sounds you actually go to your sounds then you go playback and then you've got your devices uh, so I've got my default device is Realtek audio and I just want to go to the properties and you go to advanced and you make sure that you enable audio enhancements and make sure that this is working so once you've got that click click and then at any time if you actually play a video back and uh, we can open a youtube video quickly and that's opera gx starting up thank you for being so loud opera uh yes 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 wow it's loud <laughs> okay so um battle for concordia this shouldn't get me into trouble so now if you hear the sounds there and you turn your gain off can you hear it going softer the moment you turn your gain up to 5 db you can hear it louder and you know that this is working you can turn off preamp and you can hear it softer Turn on preamp and you can hear it louder immediately. So I'm going to stop that there before I get into too much trouble with video, uh, with YouTube and copyright infringement. Um, simple. That's how you get your, uh, uh, that's how you make sure your equalizer APO is working. I like a little bit of preamp and then cutting off the highs, etc. with uh, um, the Rough Rider VST plugin for the audio compression. Hopefully that helped you. It was five minute video and uh, 
drop in comments if you have any additional questions and then we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Cheers.